Hello everyone, welcome back to Smith's Garage. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing you the interior to my Volkswagen Beetle. Um, now, before I keep going with this video, I just wanna say if you wanna see any other part of this car, or if you have any questions, I probably have covered it in one of my previous videos I have on the series about this car. I'll put the playlist at the end of the video, but if you wanna see anything, just check it out. Um, so, this interior, I ended up buying it from a company called SoFine. And the reason why I chose that company was because I didn't have any seat frames for my seats that are in the front of the car. Um, now that doesn't sound like a very big deal, but I couldn't find any seat frames around where I live and I didn't feel like driving to California to get any. And SoFine was one of the few companies that would send me fully restored, fully upholstered, complete front seats for this car. So that was a big reason why I chose this place. But it was also because they were very friendly to deal with. They sent me a whole bunch of swatches of like different materials and fabrics and I was able to pick how I wanted the interior to be made because I'm no seamstress. Um, I'm not very good at this sort of stuff. But yeah. Anyways, without further ado, I'll show you the inside. Now, I wish that it was nice and sunny outside because I totally just filmed this video outside instead because the car color and the interior color just really pop in the sun and I wish that's how I could show it to you and it's best, but this is the best I can do. Um, I wish I had, I should get a ring light or something. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm gonna start off with some of the more mundane things and get to the cooler stuff later. So starting off with the carpet in this car, um, I have gone for a gray German square weave carpet. Um, I don't know why I picked square weave. I just, I heard that it, I don't know, I've heard good things about it and it looked nice. Um, and to match with the carpet on the bottom, I went with a gray tweed headliner on the top uh, because it kind of matches the carpet and I didn't want to have too much tan. I knew I wanted tan seats and they'd go with the green, but I didn't want like all of it to be tan and I find that with the gray carpet and gray headliner, the seats kind of pop a little bit more. Um, and for installing those two, those are probably the hardest parts to do. Well, the headliner was. The carpet was super easy. The carpet is cut and trimmed to the sizes for each area. It's just like a fun puzzle figuring out the areas they go, but then once you figure that out, you just glue and stick it in. Super straightforward. The headliner, on the other hand, the pieces were more rough cut and you had to trim them up yourself a little bit. And getting them to be glued and contoured with the uh, roundness of the roof so perfectly was quite a difficult process. Um, like even the back window, I had to, it was just one big piece and I had to cut the middle out myself and pull it around every round section, trying not to get any wrinkles or pinches in the fabric. But once, it was a bit of a daunting process, but once it's done, I say it turned out pretty damn good and I'm quite happy with it. Um, underneath everything, I put a quite a heavy layer of hush mat and insulation because I was really worried about road noise and engine noise. Um, the road noise is actually really good, like you can't hear it very much, but the engine noise is pretty loud. So I'm still thinking about getting some more in under and behind this back seat to hopefully minimize the engine noise by a little more. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just the boring stuff. <laughs> the seats here, one of my favorite parts, um, the brown on the sides is actually a really high quality vinyl, but it's like really nice. Like if you asked me what it was, I'd probably tell you it was leather because it just feels so nice and soft. And in between the stripes of brown, I got this nice pattern of, um, I don't know what material it really is, but it actually came out of the Volkswagen camper vans. Uh, it's not a super popular choice. I found that when I was talking to people about it, they looked at me like I was a little bit crazy but I found that it went with the green really well and I like plaid uh, and I don't know, it just needed a bit of pattern and I thought it kind of brought out the retroness of the car and I like it. Um, along with the seats, you got the door panels, which are the same material. Um, driver's side door panel, I don't have like any pocket or ha handle, but the passenger one, I have the pocket and the handle. That's how my car came originally. So I just kind of wanted to replicate the same. Um, in the back, we have a back bench seat which is the same as the front and it kind of has like two 
sections in the middle, two sections to match the front seat so it looks like they're two separate seats, but it's just a bench seat, and some back little panels that match the front ones. One adorable little detail, at the end of the little catalog I had, they had these cute little pillows. I don't really even know what they're for, and I really don't need them, but they match my interior colors, and I just thought that was very cute, so I kind of couldn't resist myself just checking one more box at the end. Um, I think they're actually like a little armrest for the people in the back, because uh, there's nothing in the middle, but whatever it is, I like it, and I got it anyways. <laughs> uh, speaking of the seats though, the front seats, as I said, they got they were sent to me as a whole, but my back seat, I had the frame already, um, and I got them to send me some cushions and kind of, it was kind of like a, a little more intricate seat cover to put the piece on in the back. It really wasn't that bad. Like if that's how the front seats would have come, I would have been able to do the back seat. Like I would have been able to do it all myself. So for anybody who wants to do their own interior, you can get your seats like, like you can get the pieces as a whole and then you can put them on yourself. It's not really that bad. Um, so yeah, that's my back seat, and yeah, that's pretty much all the interior parts, like the fabric. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I even send you these little pull handles that are also the same brown leather. And I also got these super nice um, sun visors that are matched to the interior, and they also have the little strap of fabric on the middle that you can hang your sunglasses on. I know it's a dumb little detail, but I really like them. And I don't know, they just, their company has such a really nice attention to detail by making sure that like on the straps for your sun visors, the red stripe of main patterns in the middle, on the doors on either side, they use the same section of the pattern to make sure it's even. And yeah, I don't know, I just, such an amazing quality of everything that they sent me. So I love everything that SoFine did, but that's pretty much to sum up everything that I got from SoFine. Um, so I'm going to move on to some of the like dash pieces. So um, I have uh, an original style speedometer, but it's not original. Uh, it actually has a fuel gauge in the bottom middle. I don't know if any year Volkswagen actually came like that, but my car did not come with a gas gauge to begin with. And I don't know why I get anxious not knowing how much gas is in my car. Um, I found a ruler in the gas tank when I first bought it, so I guess that's how somebody was measuring the gas. but. I wanted a gauge, so I put one in my Speedo. My Speedo originally was also in miles per hour, this one's in kilometers an hour, so that's nice. Um, but moving on from that, all the knobs on my doors and my dash are actually the original knobs, except for one of them, which is really annoying because it's more white than all the other knobs. Still pisses me off a little, but maybe one day I'll find a matching one. <laughs> um, one of the knobs is also, it doesn't do anything right now because the car originally had like a carb choke on it, but because I have some bigger, better carburetors, they don't actually have a choke on them, so I don't have one of those. But um, moving on to one of the more obvious differences that you've probably seen for a while now, um, I have an oil temperature and oil pressure gauge underneath of my dash. Now this was something that I just kind of wanted because of the bigger engine I have. I wanted to have the peace of mind of being able to see my engine temperature, so instead of overheating I could see that I was gonna get close to overheating and turn it off but I wanted them to be in a kind of inspicuous and stylish way in the car because I don't want them to be in your face I don't want to drill a hole in the dash so what I tried to do was make a housing that kind of matches this little dip down in the dash here where the ignition is so I kind of went with a similar ish look and put them down and further back so then when you're driving you can just see them but they're not super in your face uh, my steering wheel is an MP wooden handle steering wheel. Uh, I love wood handled steering wheels. Uh, I don't know why I do. I just think they're so like vintage and nice looking. But I'll be honest, there's not a lot of cars in the world that suit a wooden handled steering wheel. Like a, a lot of vintage ones do, but I'm a muscle car guy and none of them really do. But a Beetle, I think it really does suit it. And I just think it's an awesome looking steering wheel. Uh, moving down. Um, I recently got a new handbrake because if you check out my last video, I had a nice original handbrake to this car, but because there was no seats in here and it was layered with a bunch of car parts, somebody had accidentally hit the handbrake and broke it. I did my best to fix it, but that was like my first ever project on this car and my welds didn't hold and one day when I pulled the handbrake, it just cranked right over and broke in half pretty much. So I got this nice new chrome one 
Uh, I was too lazy to do a cream colored one like my last one, but I figured the chrome kind of matches my shifter. So I wasn't too upset about that. Uh, moving on to my shifter though, this is genuinely my favorite part of the inside of this car. It's a small detail, but you'll notice that the top of it is just a nice brass, I think, or is it bronze? I don't know, it's one of those coppery colors. <laughs> um, and it's just a thick handle, the base is really nice. It's from a company called Vintage Speed, and it's actually a limited edition one. I think they only made like 500 of them or something. But I came across it and it was one of the few things that was like stupidly expensive and I just couldn't help myself. It matched the green so well. I hated my original shifter a lot because my, my original one broke and then I had gotten this stupid short shifter and it felt so shit to shift with that I wanted to get a taller, originaler looking one. And yeah, I don't know. Everything else I got for cheap. Like I got the steering wheel from a swap meet, got my speedo from a swap meet, got the gauges for cheap off of ISP on sale. This thing, I know it was dumb, stupidly expensive, but I don't know. I just finally wanted to treat myself to something really nice in here. So that's the story behind this, but I love it. Um, it even has a poly polymer, I think it's a polymer bushing in the bottom, so your shifts feel nicer. And it's taller, so my arm actually nicely rests on it. My short shifter, I really felt like I had to reach for it, and I wasn't a fan of that. Um, going down even further, uh, I got this cute little basket that's kind of a bit of a cup holder because this car doesn't have any cup holders, but, um, you know, gotta get my Tim Hortons on the daily as a Canadian, so I need a cup holder to put it in and drive it around with. Um, my pedals are actually, the brake and clutch are original, but my gas pedal, I went with one of the roller ball style ones because when I got this frame sandblasted, I did my best to plug all the holes, but I was so annoyed because a little bit of sand got into that throttle cable hole. And no matter how many times I tried to like use pipe cleaners and anything to like pull all the grease out and then re-grease it, I could not get all the grit out of there. So I did my best to try to make it so there was not as much grit. And I have to admit, it actually feels a bit of a squeak, but feels pretty good. So yeah, um, I think, oh yeah. And I also have, I don't, this car didn't have seatbelts when I bought it. And I don't, as of BC laws and regulation, I don't legally need seatbelts because this car was not released in a year where it was the law. But um, this Beetle is a bit of a death trap with the amount of horsepower it is and how low it is to the ground. Uh, and also not to mention when you're taking a corner pretty hard, these uh, flat springy seats really like to send you off the sides. So having a lap belt is just nice. It gives you an added layer of protection and kind of holds you to the seat. Um, otherwise, I believe that is everything to cover about the interior of this car. So yeah. That sums up the inside of my Volkswagen Beetle. Now, you may be wondering, uh, why do I have a Camaro keychain in on my key? Uh, I don't know if any of you noticed that up until now, but I just wanted to quickly say, um, my dad's first car was a 71 split bumper Camaro, and he had that keychain as, like that was the only thing he has left of the car, and all my life I grew up seeing it in the drawer and never getting used. And I always saw the car and saw the cars my dad worked on. And it just kind of is what sparked my love for cars and where I am now. So I just have that keychain on in there to remind me all of that. But yeah, anyways, enough of that cheesiness. Um, I do want to get a front uh, carpet kit for the front of the car that matches the inside one day, but I'm just not quite there yet with this project. So yeah, maybe one day, but anyways, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.